Flinders House was conceived um, to be part of a very ancient landscape and the Victorian coastline um, is typified by secondary and tertiary dune systems that give a undulation and a soft roll to the landscape and we wanted the house to be part of that, not to reflect it, but to be part of that landscape and in fact go further and appear as if it was built millions of years ago, covered over and then eroded away and exposed like it had been part of a skeletal remain of an ancient marine creature. The brief for this house was quite an open um, idea. There were some pragmatic things about the number of bedrooms, etc. But they use it as a beach house, but it's more than a beach house for them. The house is more of a vehicle for them to use as a family, but also to use with extended family and friends. So it's more of a sanctuary or a haven for them to come down and have the opportunity to be alone or with a large group of people. The, the design of the house is based on, to a degree, a sense of mystery. So on arrival, there's a blank wall and a door in it, which is a bit like a small proscenium arch in a theatre. And when you draw the curtains or open the door, it exposes you to a magnificent view. So there is kind of an excitement attached to that, a quiet excitement. On the Victorian coastline, where the view is, is usually where the weather comes from. So we've provided uh, north-facing courtyards that are protected from the southerly weather, where the swimming pool is, for example. So there are all different places that you can go to around the house, depending on the climate. Um, and also that facilitates a sense of zoning throughout the house, so everyone's got privacy. So it's effectively like two boomerang shapes with a, a little zipper of glass between it that gives people aspect and view without others being able to look, look at them. Through the design of a house like this, you simply can't see from one end to the other. There's mystery um, that activates your engagement with the house. So the visceral quality of the body in the building is part of that mystery so that you can't necessarily know what the plan of the building's like. You actually have to be active in seeking that out and moving through the building. Because of the curves within the building and the timber beading, we can disguise doors. So you just see the shape of the wall and a series of handles, but you don't see a wall with a frame with a door in it. So the sculpted form is highlighted by the use of materials. I think there are dramatic moments in this house and things like the stair to the um, upstairs bedroom um, could be, you know, there could be a bit of gone with the wind in that. Uh, the bathrooms are quite brightly coloured. They were meant to be jewel-like. There was meant to be a touch of Hollywood maybe um, on the Victorian coastline. I mean, I, I walk into the bathrooms and I always smile when I see them because there's something there is something kind of luscious about them, but the materiality is quite simple. The scale of the building is based on a range of um, activities, and sometimes our client, might, just the two of them might come down. And so there's intimate cave-like areas where they can retreat to um, and f feel like they're in an intimate space. Um, and also their children have their own private area um, so they can retire to that and they can have their friends down and go crazy in another part of the house while other things are happening elsewhere. And then there's more space if other families are down here. So it's designed so that if you're here alone, you don't feel like you're rattling around the house. There are spaces to go that you always feel comfortable in. The materiality of the building um, does 
make some reference to bleach, driftwood or, or old whale bones. Um, but also it's in a monochromatic palette, which is what our work is about. Every time of day, it looks slightly different. I think the house still looks quite fresh and there's a timelessness about it which is embedded in our work. We, 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 we're not architects that respond to style or decoration on a building. The building is what it is, it's a sculptural form and they're designed to look better as they get older. Thank you.